Hi, I'm Brian Johnson, and in this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, I want to take some time to tell you a little bit about our home bar. Now, our house is a 19th century Victorian home with nine and a half foot ceilings, and our challenge was to build a world-class home bar that really fit into our home. Taking cues from small Japanese bars, we built the Skeleton Key, which is named for the key required to operate the mortise door lock to gain access to our bar. Because I spent many, 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 many hours stripping paint from the salvage door, I have to show it to you. When I found the door, the windows were wallpapered and painted over with about 10 layers of paint. It has now become the perfect entrance to our home bar. Now the skeleton key is what I call micro bar. It's four feet wide by six feet deep for a total of 24 square feet, which is not a lot, but we do a lot with it. Now perhaps the most technologically advanced piece of our bar is the hinged bar top made from a single slab of live edge spalted maple. It folds down when needed. To bring more of the Japanese theme to our bar, we use 5.5 millimeter jute, Japanese jute rope to hold it in place. And it's details like these that can really make home bars special. And we continue to use maple for the bar shelves to continue the Japanese theme and then carry the wood species through the bar. And we have about room for 90 bottles, bitters, swizzle sticks, punch bowls, and other assorted cocktail making things. Now I put a few lights um, right behind the shelf facing to create a very effortless light source. Now the back counter workspace was an afterthought. I was initially planning on installing a shelf for more bottles, but as the project stretched on, we started spending more money, uh, which has, tends to happen. Now the Maple Butcher Block counter comes from Michigan Maple Block Company, which has been making Butcher Block for over 125 years. Our cover bar sink ties into our topper tin ceiling and the plumbing was obviously necessary to have a working bar uh, sink. Now this back work area is probably the smartest thing we did on the entire project. And speaking of the ceiling, our amazing tin copper ceiling is something you can only see if you visit the Skeleton Key in person. There's nothing like spending a night at home staring up at the ceiling. Now did you think that's all we did? We just built one little amazing micro bar? Um, not even close, actually. We also built the tiny tiki room. Using thatch and tonga matting from Oceanic Arts, which is a historic tiki supplier, to cover all the surfaces, we can approximate the feel of a tiki bar. Our tiki, King Hemi Hemi, stands guard day and night. Storms of thunder and lightning also happen every day at the tiny tiki room, thanks to the Philips Hue lights and an Android app. It's easy to come and let the stress of the rule melt away. Now we're very proud of the Skeleton Heathen Tiki Tiny Tiki Room, and we actually can't wait to share them with you as we start making more episodes on better cocktails at home. So thanks for watching, we really appreciate you.